you're watching the airport, what can I tell you? I guess I have a problem, I just can't stop doing these things, let's get into it. OpenAI employees spill the beans on GPT-5. Word on the street is, it will be the first official AGI humanity has ever seen. Okay, that's a big promise. I don't know, I guess there's a chance it happens, but probably still less than 50%, in my semi-ignorant opinion. In other spectacular news, Microsoft and Page, which is a company that develops AI for pathologists, are starting to work on the world's largest language model for identifying cancer. The model will be trained on billions of images, and it should be able to identify both common and rare cancers. Okay, I know Microsoft is considered to be one of the most evil companies ever, but I'm struggling to find a way to interpret this in a negative light. Uh, yeah, I got nothing. This seems like a pure win. While we're at Microsoft, they're assuring their users that they will assume legal responsibility if Copilot, the company's AI service, gets their clients sued for copyright infringement. Huh. Even though they're working on curing cancer apparently, they're not that good. So they must really expect Copilot to be extremely profitable. Anyway, sounds like a good day for Microsoft. Next, UNESCO releases a guide for generative AI, urging governments to regulate the use of ChatGPT and other AIs in the classroom. One of their demands is for children to be at least 13 before they can use tools like ChatGPT in order to develop skills for critical thinking and creativity. 13, huh? Well, I don't know, sounds kinda old actually. Given how they can probably already request a gender reassignment surgery at 14, and they can serve in the military and get killed in a foreign country when they're 16 in some countries and states. Of course, they gain the ability to click the yes, I am older than 18 button on porn sites since they are 11 or something. Children today are in a weird position. I have a feeling like they grow up faster than ever, but also remain kind of inexperienced and naive for a longer time and don't really mature that fast. They get cynical and bitter sooner, but they have a tough time abandoning that phase. I don't think taking away access to one of the most powerful educational tools ever is a wise move. Then, again, I almost went to prison several times before I even turned 18 and almost lost my life twice until that age, so what do I know? And to further prove my ignorance and unreliability, I guess, I have to issue my first official retraction of a piece of news. Yesterday, I reported that the AI-generated song Hard On My Sleeve by AI Drake and AI The Weeknd was nominated for a Grammy. But today, the CEO of the Recording Academy, which is the organization behind the Grammys, shut down those rumors. So, we don't have an AI song at the Grammys. There we go. My first official retraction. Didn't even hurt that much. Here's the many more of these for me. May I have a long and fruitful career in the AI news? so long that I get to make hundreds of these eventually. Next, the fate of AI-generated artists is uncertain, but some human artists seem to enjoy the uncertainty and even embrace it. A group of artists has signed an open letter to Congress stating that AI tools have already been used in the music for decades and that with proper regulation they will actually help artists and unleash more creativity. Wow, I'm honestly impressed. There are only 80 artists that have signed this letter so far. I gotta say I've never heard of artists like Junk.Culture and Historic-Crypto and ClownVamp and Zero X Crumpet. But if they're real human artists, they are brave and I think they have the right views. So hats off to them. And next we have another bold move, this time by China. Allegedly, they are trying to use AI to generate political materials that are supposed to denigrate US political figures like they need any help getting denigrated. I think US politicians themselves are often doing a good enough job there. By the way, denigrated. Doesn't that sound like a strange, potentially offensive word? I'm kind of surprised that's still not cancelled, but I have a feeling it will be cancelled soon, so maybe I should say it a few more times while it's still okay to say it. Denigrated. 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 <laughs> yeah, it definitely sounds wrong. I'm gonna stop tiptoeing the line of getting cancelled now and I won't say this word ever. Anyway, China is playing a dangerous game here. The US is the world champion of bringing down governments through creating internal chaos and turmoil. I don't think they should be challenging them at their own game. While we're at China, it seems like they already have some internal turmoil of their own. The Chinese tech giant Tencent, the company behind WeChat, is releasing Hanyuan, an AI model for businesses. 
This is after a competing tech giant in China, Baidu, released their own AI model named Ernie. And there are also a few other big companies that are releasing AI models of their own, including Huawei. I guess there is some good old-fashioned capitalist competition in China as well. Or maybe this is just all orchestrated and they are all in agreement with each other. It's interesting, nonetheless. And finally, while AI may be causing an unusual divide in China, it may cause an unusual unification in the US. Democrat Senator Richard Blumenthal of Connecticut and Republican Senator Josh Hawley of Missouri plan to announce a bipartisan framework on regulating AI. The framework includes requirements for AI licensing and auditing, the creation of an independent federal office to oversee the technology, liabilities and responsibilities for privacy and civil rights violations, safety standards, and data transparency requirements. Ha, <laughs> seems like AI is turning the world on its head. And that's the way it is. That was the AI Report. Thanks for tuning in. I swear to God I'll take a break one of these days, maybe even a few days off. But anyway, you can still subscribe and catch a few more episodes before I inevitably get cancelled eventually. So hit the subscribe button. I appreciate you. And again, maybe I will see you tomorrow.